Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to this series on the 8SM Mini Extreme. Specifically today I want to talk about the two HDMI outputs on the device. Now this is something we've wanted for the longest time on the 8SM Mini lineup, but now that it's here, there's a few cool use cases that popped up and I'm going to take you through those today. The two HDMI outputs are actually more like auxes, which means you can send whatever you want out of them. Now HDMI number one is controlled by the buttons on the right hand side here. So I can send out of it any of the inputs, so that's input one, two, three, four, etc. I can also send a clean, which is a clean version, we'll come back to that a little bit later. A preview, multi-view, or program, all out of that HDMI number one. There are no physical buttons for HDMI 2, and that's controlled via the ATEM software control. Here I am over on the ATEM software control, and I've connected to my ATEM Mini Extreme. At the top here I can see outputs, and then I have output one and output two. Like I said before, output 1 is controlled via the device itself, but this is where you go to control what output 2 sends. And as you can see, you can send any of the sources, colors, media players, clean feed, the same stuff. And I'll just set it to program for now. The first good use case for this is pretty simple, having two monitors in front of you. One showing your multi-view and one showing your program, just so you know what's definitely going to your audience. And that's a pretty simple and pretty easy way to get started with those two HDMI outputs. A use case that I'll most likely use is the clean feed option. So in my case, when I do my weekly live streams, I'll want to live stream maybe with a logo in the top corner that says I'm live right now. But I also want to record a secondary feed of that without that logo. Everything else looks the same. I just don't want to see that logo up there. Over in the ATEM software control, I'll drag in that logo as I want it to look. So here it is. I'll bring that onto media player one. And as usual, I can just set that up to be in the downstream key section. There you go, it works as expected. And now whenever I switch my production, you can see here that I have my logo showing up the whole time. So I'm actually capturing the program output from this A10 Mini Extreme here, and you can see that because it's set on program on the video out. However, if I change that to a clean feed, you can see the logo disappears instantly. So with my external recorder attached and recording that clean feed, I'm able to chop that up and upload it to YouTube as a separate clip without the live logo in the top corner. A second use case for these two HDMI outputs, and something I've run into many times on productions, is that you want a program feed going to other people in the room, but you want to keep an eye on the multi-view yourself. With the ATEM Mini lineup, this wasn't previously possible. But now, taking a look at this diagram, you can see that I can have my ATEM Mini Extreme, with HDMI output number one going to a multi-view beside me, and then HDMI output number two, showing program and going pretty much wherever I want to in the building. Even better if I turn that HDMI into SDI and send it into a matrix or a distributor, I can send that off to many people in the building and they can all see the program feed without affecting my multi-view feed. And a secondary use case would be for a presenter so they have a confidence monitor of their presentation notes. In this diagram, I can show my ATEM Mini Extreme here with my multi-view in front of me as expected and send off that second HDMI to a screen that they can see just under the camera perhaps. From there I can connect their slideshow into my ATEM Mini Extreme and configure HDMI output number two just to show their presentation on that secondary monitor. The nice thing about this is I don't need to use HDMI splitters to split their presentation laptop and send it in two directions. I can just bring it all into the ATEM Mini Extreme and then let that do all the work for me. So I hope you find that useful. I just wanted to explore a few different use cases to get you thinking about maybe why to go for the Extreme instead of the original ATEM Mini Pro or ISO. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.